So um, I, I know you're not, uh, you know, a doctor. You don't play one on TV. Uh, there's a, just a general uh, conversation about your quarterback's health. How, how, how does Jimmy G look to you uh, getting ready for this big game against Green Bay? Um, I mean, I apologize for my ignorance. I, I had no idea. He was, he was injured. He, he seemed pretty good to me last time I laid out of eyes on him. I don't know. You know, Jimmy was tough cookie, man. And, uh, so, you know, I know this game means a lot, and I know that he'll do everything he can to be there. So what is your role, do you think, on this team? Trent, I know what you uh, play, what position you play, but spiritually and uh, leadership and also – um, through your play, what do you view as your role on the 49ers? Um, you know, honestly, Rich, I've been I've been around for a long time, and uh, you know, a ton of these guys on the team have been watching me play since they were in middle school or you know high school. So, um, you know, I think my role is just that, that kind of that emotional guy. It's pretty been through. I mean, it's pretty much been through everything in the NFL. You know, from a, a lot of ups and downs. So, um, you know, I just I feel like I can relate to every player in that locker room on some level, whatever whatever level they are or whatever um, things they are in their career. I feel like I can relate to them. And, um, you know, and that's just how I try to motivate, man, by, by relating to the guys and, and, and just helping them through everything. And then also um, trying to lead by example and what I put into the game every day. What do you put into the game every day? Walk me through yeah, that. I put my everything, man. I think uh, – this game consumes me. It consumes my mind. It consumes everything. I, you know, 98% of the day, I think my mind is on football. Um, just visualizing, making plays for my team, and, and uh, just trying to continue to transcend the position of left tackle and, and to show people that, you know, we, we can be more than just somebody, you know, playing in the phone booth and, and blocking one guy every play. Trent Williams here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. And then just the general sense of the physical nature that you guys bring to the table. What is it like um, to watch Debo work, Trent? Uh, Debo, Debo is special. Debo is a – he's unlike play, any, any player I've ever seen. Um, you know, when I first seen Debo, I think last year, when I was watching highlights from the – watching film from the previous year, 19, when I got there at 20. And, um, you know, I told him then that I felt like he was one of the best people I've ever seen with the football. And, you know, he, he reminded he reminded me a lot of, um, of – I've never seen a guy with that burst other than Percy Harvin, you know. And I used to – and to me, he was one of the better guys I've ever seen in person. And then, you know, I think this year he just blew it out the water. There's literally no comparison to a player like Debo. And uh, I think we are very, very blessed and lucky to have him on our team. And I think, you know, Kyle, Kyle being such a genius and uh, as an offensive-minded coach, um, I think that that marries up perfectly with, with one of the, you know, unicorn weapons that we have in Debo. Trent Williams here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. You know, uh, the the story goes, certainly <clears throat> over the last couple of days, Trent, is that after you got the ball back, um, picking off Dak, on Sunday, Debo told Kyle, give me the ball. You gave him the ball. You scored. That's the way it went. Is that the way it went over the weekend? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how it went. Um, <laughs> you know, but that, that's Debo, man. He's a, he's, a, he's a competitor like no other. He loves like contact. Seems like he loves contact. Like he just relishes yeah, it. He's, man, he loves he love everything. He, the thing about it is he can run. He can run past 99% of the players on that field. So, you know, that that's already scary enough. And when you think you, you want to go run and get an angle on him and he sticks his foot in the ground and, and all you see is his helmet strike, that's a scary thing for, for you know, defensive backs and linebackers. So as you and I are talking right here, Trent Williams, you think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be playing in uh, Green Bay? That's your sense. Uh, I mean, I just say I don't know his injury status uh, personally, but – um, so I know Jimmy, like I know Jimmy, if, if he can go, he would definitely be soon enough at Green Bay. Okay. Do you think you guys can win the Super Bowl? You got that sense? What do you think? I mean, I think any any team left in this playoff run right now probably feel like they can win the Super Bowl. So, yeah, I think, you know, I, it, it would be hard to to go out there and play in the 10-degree weather or whatever it is mm. if, I didn't, if I 
didn't think I had a chance to win. So, yeah, of course, I, I think I'll probably feel like every other player that's still in this thing. Jake, you got any tips on how to stay warm at all? Uh, no, you know, honestly, I mean, we're going to be surrounded by 100,000 people. So, you know. That'll keep you warm. You got heated benches, you know, all, all right. big jackets and stuff. All right. So, you know. All right. If I'm getting cold, that means that we – and we are on the field a lot. I mean, we're possessing the ball, so I'll, I'll take that. Okay. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.